Floyds. I can't even be good friends with other Floyds. Oh darn, I already forgot my stupid cap. Hello everybody and welcome back to another video for the day. We're going back into r slash incel tier and if you guys would love to be absolutely amazing, show your support, see another video like this one here today and be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment down below, start up a wholesome internet discussion, remember this is the internet after all, and if you have not already, subscribe and turn on notifications. Oh, really go. While friendships among men last for years and years, it's very rare that Floyds can keep good relations with other Floyds. And even if they do have a close female friend that won't last more than some months, their friendship is full of envy, jealousy, betrayal, and toxicity. And the reason why most female friends break apart is always the same. One of them f the chance boyfriend of the other one. It's very rare that I see a couple of Floyds together at work. Most of them are alone or with their Chad boyfriends. If they can't even be good friends with other women, how can men expect men and women to can be friends? I don't know how you guys got tricked into this stuff. We all know what makeup is and the deceptive nature of women. There's literally no difference between women wearing makeup makeup, and men lying to investors about their company's performance. It's fraud, and the consequences of the former should be equal to the latter, if not more severe. Uh, yes, please do explain the logic between having makeup on and how that correlates to loan fraud, because I honestly think it would be easier to divide by zero than it would to be able to try to understand that mental process. Better stop apologizing for their sexuality. And next time some fat chick on Twitter with pink hair tells you that you're a creep for liking young girls, a Japanese schoolgirl uniforms, and giant badongos, uh, just reply, yep. Why should you be sorry for being you? I'm pretty certain the fine line of when it gets weird is when the person of interest has homework four to five times a week. Imagine being that type of person that thinks, oh, it's just a drawing. It's still a person who's under that legal age limit. Some people are into certain uniforms, and I guess that kind of varies depending on what the uniform is. Or, you know, some people are in the Big Bang Hanaga Hoogs, uh, but yeah, that, uh, that age is the no point. Femininity is more fragile than masculinity. Oh, my bad. Masculinity. Females require full control over internet to make sure no one says sexist things about their gender. Police in everyone's butt so they can get protected 24-7. No need to learn self-defense. Support from banks and colleges to, collages to make finance and education easier. A gender diversity have more chances chance of getting a job compared to a male who has the same qualifications and skill as her. Free healthcare, uh, deletion, um, I don't know if I can say that, are almost free, and breast cancer awareness exists, and uh, Google supports it, despite uh, testicle cancer being as a much common and brutal form of cancer we never see it mentioned. More rights during divorce. Men require none of these, lol, of the right we we currently have are earned by our ancestors of the male sex. We never begged. Women want men to compliment them. It is a blue pill myth that Floyds don't like to be complimented on looks. They do. Everyone does. We all seek validation. For both men and Floyds, being complimented on looks gives us huge amounts of validation. No matter how creepy the compliment might be seen. A woman likes to be told that she has good tots. Blue pillars will think that's creepy to say, but women would blush and feel joy if a chad tells them that. Blue pillars will tell you to compliment her hobby or shoes, but that's BS. No one truly cares about that. We all want to get validation from the opposite gender. We like when they let us know we are good looking. It's only creepy when an ugly guy compliments them, but for some Floyds, ugly or average guys will do as well. She just needs a large amount of them. This is why they keep beta orbiters and why your local blue pillar will think he knows it better than incels. 
and that he's having a shot at her just because she reads his messages. Anyone who's in the Incelosphere long enough has seen examples of Foids with up to dozens of blue pill orbiters uh, that she gets validation from every day. She has no intention to date or F any of them. She just likes the validation she gets. Likes the fact that many men think of her every day. Getting a Chad to validate her is her dream. The black pill here is average men rarely, if ever, get complimented by someone other than his mother, while average Beckys can get even Chads to simp for them. Although Chads usually know better, this is when women resort to having a lot of simps orbit her on social media. Ah yes, because the good old logic of, hey nice outfit, or hey you look nice today, is the equivalent of walking up to somebody, telling them, hey let me get a seat for you, and then wiping their face. Might have been funny in American Dad, but uh, not okay in real life. Just to anybody in general, before you talk to somebody, please know the difference between a compliment and something that's considered harassment. Don't walk up to somebody and the first thing you say is, hey, nice badonkers, and then tell them learn to take a compliment. The American girls shall be stopped from becoming wholesomes. Here comes a new trend, OnlyFans. Now every American girl is on OnlyFans, wholesoming themselves for money. See, I understand American families are degenerates, immoral. If Americans had strict parents, then their girls won't turn out to be wholesomes. I I have noticed these days, every American girl is on OnlyFans, trying to mint money worldwide by showing off their filthy bodies. We need to stop OnlyFans trend. Eh, dude, you're just pissy because you're not successful. It's not like it's only limited to women. But then again, nobody would probably want to see an OnlyFans where it's nothing but the person complaining on every post. Not that I did a lot anyways, but the past year, I must confess that out of social pressure, I gave up my sit on the bus for them a couple of times, or gave some coins to female beggars, or held the door open to a void in some occasions. Not anymore. Voids don't want me to be kind to them. Voids want me to stay the F away from them. Not because of the things I do or say, but for the way I look. Because to Voids, my face is what makes me a creep. F every single one of them. I've been kind to them all my life, and I didn't get a single smile back. Never forget this. Voids don't want your kindness. They want you to stay the F away from them because your sole existence as a subhuman offends them. Dude, you say that you've done all the nice stuff, but the only reason you've ever done anything nice from what it seems is because you were expecting something in return. No, you were, I, you were an actual nice person. You would do things because they're nice things to do, not because you want to get something in return. In all seriousness, how hard is that to understand? How are women even considering themselves oppressed? All they have to do is work out and spread their legs to get money. How can the system of us hard-working men, giving those totally oppressed females money, even oppress them? Like, we're giving them free money. All they have to do is spread their legs. And what do men have to do for their money? They have to work with a brain or with hands. But since we already have come to the truth of female, Males not having to work for their money, literally just lie there. We are also coming to the conclusion that only the men can be considered oppressed in this system. And you know why this isn't public? Because men aren't like women which cry over everything. Females are only there for our species to live on. Other than that, they are worthless for society and humanity as a whole. I men a Humanity even has the men inside of it. Same with women. Literally couldn't live without us men. Whilst we men have proven to live within each other without causing problems or not being able to live on our own. In conclusion, females are the abusers and should be all sent to jail for abusing the so-called 
toddy power. Women need to understand that they are inferior. Not only to Chad, uh, but even the most subhuman male they think they are too good for. And daily reminder B, you aren't. You're all weak, hypergamous, low IQ, callous, disgusting, vapid, shallow, useless slots. You are nothing but toilets for Chad to- I'm not even gonna say that, that's nasty. All over, yet your utter holes have the audacity to reject us and think you're better than us? You reject incels because you're underdeveloped animals. You belong in the Stone Age with such rarded, superficial mating selection. You aren't ready to mate with reasonable, high IQ incels. Otherwise, we'd have a Type 2 or a 3 civilization by now. But no, a Chad's looks are a more important than intelligence to you animals. It's because of your inferiority that you'll one day be replaced by a robot built by the incel geniuses you've turned down. You're already not much different than a robot, but at least they will be useful. You effed up society so much and got it to this point, while as an inferior creature, all you had was one simple basic job. Know your place and serve men, no matter how ugly they are. This uncorrected behavior will be your downfall. The establishment of Enzelistan is the only solution to men's problems. You know what? Here's the real funny part. Oh, wait, you serious? Let me laugh even harder. <laughs> the only way to ensure men aren't bullied and cast away for just being men, the only way for men to not be socksless, the only way to get rid of the plague of simps and the concept of OnlyFans, the only way to guarantee evolution of mankind is to establish patriarchal society, where men rule once more, where men are property of men, like in the days of ancient Greeks. This is the only way to ensure a return of natural order. Think about how funny that is. Women are such absolute degenerates that the only way to guarantee mankind's survival is by enslaving them, because otherwise you'll have what you have now, a complete dating inequality between the sexes. But none of this will ever happen. None of it will happen. Not even 1% of it will happen because in this world of ours where the men, genuine male human individuals just like you and me, who have stable lives and most likely also have families, who buy online hooks bathwaters, and feed us for $1,000 in cash? Oh, there's no hope. I genuinely pray whatever alien's life is out there comes here and destroys humanity, or that sun explodes, or Yellowstone erupts, or Xi Jinping decides to go ER, and just anything to end this absolute mockery of self-descripted civilized society. Okie dokie, and with that last bit of brain damage, that is going to have to be it with the video. If you guys would love to be absolutely amazing, show your support, and see another video like this one in the near future, be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment down below, and if you have not already, subscribe and turn on notifications. I'll be sure to see you guys in the next one, thank you so much for watching, and bye bye.